tenth time a Ford has been on the pole in the 17 races thus far in 1991. Those Chevys locked right behind them in the second row, numbers four and three, Urban and Earnhardt. As the field gets ready to skedaddle down here into turn number one and get this thing going. Green is on. Even on the break. And staying even up into turn two. Takes a while to get the speed up with those restrictor plates on these engines, Ken. In fact, it takes them a full lap to get up to full speed. Harry Gant was saying this morning that he said, you know, on an even one here, he said, running with those restrictor plates just isn't that much fun. If you get out of line even a little, there's nothing you can do. You just have to wait. You have to be very patient. Let's see who's Well, we see there. that outside line moving very good. Sterling Marlin down the inside has already dropped back to about fifth position. Mark Martin has moved up front with Dale Earnhardt right on his back bumper and then Bill Elliott. And Chad Little has pulled up as well. Remember, he started six up there battling in the fourth position as they move around. Here's your leader. Chad Little right up on that outside group, trying to move through. That is not the leader. That's back in that fourth spot. You see Sterling Marlin side by side in the three in front. Hustling down into corner number one. It's Mark Martin in front, then the Chevrolet of Earnhardt and Bill Elliott, who ran so well at Daytona. With Darrell Waltrip, there's Hutt Strickland. I'll tell you, I think Hutt Strickland's chances, even though that's a Buick, Ford's and the Chevy seem to be the story here. He has been strong in practice, and particularly strong yesterday afternoon, as was Schrader. And I think he'll get stronger as the race goes on, and the track maybe gets a little bit slip, slicker. The sun hasn't shined on the track so much, too much here today to make it very slick, but that's when Hutt Strickland will really start going, and so will Earnhardt, although he's up there right now. Martin for the lead. Earnhardt second. And as they come by with two laps down, going back into the turn, see Bill Elliott right there. There's Mark Martin. Races he's run this year. And the positions he's drawn up in the points. Now being challenged by Earnhardt. A little help from Bill Elliott in the nine car. Back straight. And a spin on turn two. The car has spun around coming around turn two. As the leaders go into turn three. It was the car number 90 and Wally Dolan back to Wally Dolan back to number 90 raising the wall. He didn't get into it hard. He spun and collected the wall just at the end of the incident. Backs it into the wall. Looks like it could be terminal for car number 90 in the Donnelly crew today. Back to the wire. And Dale Earnhardt's going to lead it. Get himself five. Winston Cup bonus points. Bill Elliott pulls up into second as they cross the line. This incident taking place on Colorado's Wally Dollenbach as they were getting into the third lap. Turn one, it started to break away. Turn two, it went around, and it finds the outside wall at the exit of turn two off the 33-degree banking. We will return with more live coverage of the Die Hard 500 from the Talladega Super Speedway after this message and a word from your local station. Yeah, there was no, there was no one else even close to him. No, there was not. I, I was looking straight at it. I don't know why, but I was. And uh, so you, you've got enough there.
this here. Oh, it dropped. Picking up Wally Dahlenbach Jr.'s car out of turn number two after a wild slide. He had started in 26th position. He was running by himself. Yes, he was. He had dropped back to the pack, back of the pack camp and was totally by himself. And it, the car got squirrely as he went around turn one and then into turn two. It just looped around. It looked like it was going to be okay. And then it spun on around and got into the wall. Here we see him going around one more time. So quite a bit of damage to the Junior Don Levy Ford. They had a new sponsor on that car today. So here after four laps is the way they're running with Earnhardt in first, Bill Elliott in second, Sterling Marlin, the pole sitter, back to third, Mark Martin, who'd set up in the front row, is fourth, and Rusty Wallace finds himself in fifth. Now, further back in the field, Ken Schrader had started in 25th, and he has fallen back a couple of positions to 27th. Ken Schrader, uh, this is CBS Control. Do you read us? Yeah, we're not, we're not doing too good so far, are we? <laughs> Did you get caught in the wrong row on that start? Well, I just, uh, my shifting skills aren't the best. I, I didn't shift up through the gears real good and uh, made a couple wrong moves, but uh, we're not done. <laughs> I tell you, sometimes it's hard getting to know which move to make out there, isn't it? Well, it is when, you know, your, your decisions are based on everybody else's, and uh, when they don't know exactly which way they're going yet, it's hard for you to anticipate it. But uh, I was a little surprised. I thought we'd get more of the first couple laps, but uh, we'll be okay. Well, if this makes you feel any better now, Sterling Marlin started on the pole on the inside row, and so did you, and Sterling on the first lap went back to about fifth place on the inside row. So he, that had to back you up some. Yeah, that, that must have been the problem. Well, Dad. of course, yeah. Yeah, that must have been the problem. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with more live coverage from the Die Hard 500 at the Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama following these messages. 